fight Gib and what I do to Gib, I think he's gonna be scared to fight me because he's gonna be like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna walk away with the W because I know Jake is gonna beat me. I'm calling it now. Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another- Ow. Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another- Ow, fuck. All right, so obviously you guys have seen the drama. So you've seen the drama. And it's time to talk about it. Oh, this past week has been absolute mayhem. KSI is in my DMs talking that hoopla. That's a word. Google it. The fucking mama's boy who lives with his parents, Deji, somehow manages to come back from the dead to talk about this whole entire situation out of his parents' house and manages to make a video reacting to my press conference. Deji, you're what, bro? Deji, I already knocked the shit out of you. Haven't you learned anything? Haven't the UK fans learned that I beat Joe Weller in two minutes? That I TKO Deji? Your boy, your, your your leader, the Kingpin, KSI, our king, wins against Logan because Logan got two points deducted and somehow everything, oh, KSI's the best. He's the best boxer. He won. But I TKO Deji, but somehow that doesn't get any credit. I TKO or I KO Joe Weller in two minutes. Somehow that doesn't get any credit. The, the problem with with the UK stands and just the UK influencers in general is they're all just liars and they just don't like to base shit in truth. A lot of people might not like me. I feel like the majority of the people that are gonna be watching this video because it has KSI in the title probably don't like me. But one thing is that I will not, I will not bring false information to these shit talk battles or discredit people where credit is due. KSI won. Yeah, he got the two points deducted, but he still won. I'm not sitting here trying to like strip that away from him. You guys are like, oh, you barely beat Deji. Oh, you barely beat Joella. Oh, oh, fuck you. Gibbs is gonna beat your fucking ass off. Like you guys are delusional and it sucks. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you. But KSI is talking shit in my DMs. Oh God. <laughs> Let's get right into this. If you're new here, my name is Jake Paul. Welcome back to the channel. Give this video a big old thumbs up. I wanna see if this can get 100,000 likes. I have obviously lost focus with YouTube for the past couple of months. I've been training for my up and coming match January 30th live on the zone. I am fighting a Nissan Gib. This is what he looks like. We figured out that he is the son of Borat. Here's proof. After extensive research, me and my team found out that Gib is the son of Borat. <laughs> Everyone was asking me who is Gabe, who is who is Gabe, who is Gabe, who is Gabe. So I finally figured out on Ancestry.com to thank me later. So that answers the question for you guys. <laughs> 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 but haven't been posting as much because I've been here in Big Bear, 8,000 feet into the mountains, just training for this up and coming fight. January 30th, live on the zone. You can download the zone right now. The link will be in the description if you guys want to watch the fight. January 30th, it's a Thursday. Mark it in your calendars live on the zone. I'm going to be fighting at around 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be ready. Get your tickets. I'm going to put the ticket link down below as well. So KSI and I got into this beef because he keeps on putting shit on his Instagram story, just talking shit like, oh, Jake Paul is this, Jake Paul is that. And so I finally responded to one of his Instagram stories and we got into like a long exchange here. So I'm just going to read you guys this conversation, but it's, pr it's pretty funny. So I said, you mad because you pay 400k for features and your music video is still going to get passed by the mini version of me. So KSI obviously had Rick Ross and Little Baby who are some of the biggest artists. His music video is at like 10 million views right now and the mini version of me, Mini Jake Paul, uploaded a music video at the same exact time. And I think his is at like 9.5 million. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we all know that like mini Jake Paul like gets numbers. Titus is a YouTube god, but still man like if you're gonna pay 400k for features like he did like that's the word in the industry is what he paid. I have like big friends in the music industry who gossip and like everyone knows what everyone pays for feature prices. He tried to get another one of my artist friends to do a feature and they declined it, but I saw the email for how much they were offering them and it was like in that range. He pays 400k for features, then he's in my DMs just be like, oh, you're not, you can't get any views, you can't get any views. Pretty absurd. To me. So KSI goes, firstly, I didn't pay. Secondly, your songs are shit and no one over the age of 12 listens to it unless it's for irony. Lastly, Gib is gonna fuck you up and then your whole family will be full of losers. All right, let's 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 break this down. Firstly, I didn't pay. Okay, this is the, the biggest lie. Everyone in the music industry pays each other for features. So the fact that he's saying this, like, guy, let's be, let, let's think about this really for a second. Rick Ross and Little Baby, they live in Atlanta. They 
fly out to Los Angeles to go to the fight, perform there, cut the record, be in the music video. These artists don't do shit for free. That's not how the music industry works. So first of all, this guy's a liar. Like I said, just a lot of the UK influencers are straight up lie all the time. And it, and it just pisses me off. <laughs> I'm not saying I haven't lied about shit in the past, but for me, like moving forward, I wanna be as authentic and like truthful as possible. Secondly, your songs are shit and no one over the age of 12 listens to it unless it's for irony. Hmm, okay. Fact check. Too much fun these days. Too much to hide these days. I used to be the one to get around. Now they all ride the wave. How to make a KSI song in 10 seconds. <clears throat> all right, play it. Play a UK beat, boom, okay, here we go. Gasoline on the fire with the book in front of it, and what do you get? Get the boondocks on the bulla, creepy mate, bloody hell mate. Oh, I beat Logan Paul, no, 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 shit. That's better than any KSI music that's ever been made. Lastly, Gibbs is gonna f you up, and then your whole family will be full of losers. Yeah, okay, go to grab. Here we go. This is my response. First, we all know you paid, it's okay. Liam be emailing every big artist to see who says yes with how much you're willing to pay in the email. That's what I was talking about. Like, he emailed one of my big artist friends, and my artist friend showed me. Uh, you weren't even on your own song. Do people like your music or SX? KSI had like eight bars on, on his song. Um, so, I, I don't even think people like KSI's music. They like people that he's featuring on, on his song. Secondly, I already fucked your brother up and didn't have to win from a referee's bad call. Now I'm gonna not give the fuck out, then finish what my brother couldn't. You have a glass jaw and got dropped in one hit, pussy boy. That's the main takeaway I got from the Logan versus KSI fight is it, all it took is one punch in the fourth round to drop him. So, and Logan really only threw like a couple punches. So to me, like this kid's just in trouble. I think, I think and I'm calling it now after he sees me fight Gib and what I do to Gib, I think he's gonna be scared to fight me because he's gonna be like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna walk away with the W because I know Jake is gonna beat me. I'm calling it now. Liam, I ain't my music manager. So that's false, LMAO. Look at my Spotify monthly listeners and compare them to yours, LMAO. You've never performed in front of a crowd older than 16. You barely beat my bro if he had trained. You would have been finished. You won't ever get to fight me, LOLOLO. -L 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 well, if you think you'll beat Gib, then you're clearly delusional. Plus, your bro fucks you up in sparring. All right. Let's break this down. So, first of all, he goes, look at my Spotify monthly listeners and compare them to yours. Yeah, KSI has more Spotify monthly listeners. Give him credit there. He's also dropped a full entire album and has been taking music seriously for the past four years. But, but he's right. He's right. I'll give him that W. You've never performed in front of a crowd older than 16. I don't get why this is a bad thing. Um, I have a younger audience, so it's like hating on someone for what their audience is. Like... That, that it's just arrogant and it just doesn't make sense to me. So basically what KSI then is trying to say is if your fans are 19 years old, they're better fans than if they're 13. Like, does it matter what age they are? I don't know, seems pretty stupid to me, but my fans are aging up, yo. Like, y'all better fucking watch out. My, my fans are hitting the road now. They're fucking driving and shit, yo. So I got some old granny and grandpa Jake Paulers out there. That color was nice. You know, we're aging up. It's time to age up. That's what this year's about to get crunk as fuck. Pretty soon, my fans will be doing cannabis. <laughs> you barely beat my bro. If he had trained, you would have been finished. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna play this clip. Bad intentions and he lands with the left into the body. He's got Deji hurt, yeah. Deji is rocked, without a doubt. Jake Paul's caught the whip, and he's looking for the big punch to end this. Can you get it? The referee's gonna send it for us. The towel has been Yeah, oh, okay. No, for sure, for sure. So you're basically saying that he didn't train, but he was training there with you and Vidal, who is training Gibbs. So basically you're calling Vidal a shitty coach. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. That's what you don't need to be doing. Yeah? I'm, I'm just confused, because this, oh, I'm just gonna let, I'm gonna play the clip again, because you said that Deji didn't train, but but then I just watched this clip. Okay, got okay. So yeah, no, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm starting to understand the UK logic. So guys, I got it. UK logic is it's opposite. So if you fucking say something, it's the exact opposite. It's fucking science. So if we are in the UK and I'm, so I'm a YouTuber and I'm in the UK, if I wanted to say I love you, I would say I. You pussy! Science. If you think you'll beat Gib, then you're clearly delusional. Plus, your bro fucks you up in sparring. So again, it's just like lies. Like that he like he's like a dog in a corner, like fighting with like terrible like information and just lies. Uh, me and my brother have never sparred ever in our lives, not for one second. And he goes, plus you bro fucks 
you up in sparring. So clearly like he's just pulling information out of his ass. So then this keeps on going. I know at this point you guys are probably annoyed, but since you want to talk about age, let's talk about how you're four years older than me, but still try to compare us on every level. I got more all time views than you and you have triple the upload. So if you look at my all time views on my YouTube channel, it's like six billion something. His is like five billion. But if you look at my uploads, I only have like 800 and he has like 3000 or 2500. So I don't know. I'm just going to let that. I'm just going to let that speak for itself. I let the numbers talk. And that's why I said at the beginning of the video, like you can hate on me all you want, but like I just spit, spit the truth out there. Let people make of it what they want. I said, you got good Spotify listeners. I give you that brother, but you also have dropped the full album plus 20 songs. The last song I put out is my first real song. God, obviously we're just having like an ego battle. I need to stop having such a big ego. I was obviously like fired up and just in my, I was like, Fuck you. plus you talk about my fans being young. Like there's not still real people. You're honestly stupid as fuck. If you think I barely beat your bro, he hit me four times in the whole fight. Uh, people like to say, oh, you Jake, you got a bloody nose, but like I get bloody noses in every single wrestling match. It's like genetics. I have to get my nose cauterized. Here's a five second clip of me getting my nose cauterized. Me getting bloody nose is something I've dealt with my whole entire life. I literally have like a catchphrase for my fan base called the bloody nose gang. It was a big thing. I get why people make a big deal out of it because obviously it looked like I was bleeding everywhere, but it's, I'm just so used to it. My bloody nose, because my nose is a fucking pussy, bro. I, know, I wish I could get a new nose, but I fucking can't. Fuck! <laughs> Oh uh, god. I can't wait till this fight's over honestly and I can go back to making like actual YouTube content where I don't have to just sit in front of this camera and talk about stupid shit. Uh fuck man. I'm sorry guys if I haven't been putting out as good a content. Just know I gotta get this KO. I gotta get this fucking job done. I said he hit me four times the whole fight and remember who finished off Joe Weller faster, you bum. I've never sparred my brother so now you're just talking out of your ass. I hope you're there front row January 30th. Live on the zone. Get your tickets. <laughs> to see me take Gibbs' head off. You're gonna see my skill and be afraid to fight me. I'm calling it now. <clears throat> KSI goes, I will be there front row and mark my words. Nothing will give me greater joy than seeing Big Gibber end your career. Better train hard, you cunt. Then I left him on fucking scene. <laughs> so there you have it. Just two egotistical fuck boys just going at it in the DMs. But like, I. I don't know, like I don't know what to make of it, but you guys can make of it what you wanna make of it. What I think is hilarious about the whole thing is like how Deji still like wants to put himself into this situation to like try and like suck cloud of it. So Deji made a reaction video to uh, Gib Giblet and I's press conference. You're, ner you're nervous. Nervous for against you? No. Fine against you. Look, you no. look scared right now. Like your, your posture, everything. J Jake always does this. He always does these little lame ass tactics to try and get in your head. And it's so obvious what he's trying to do. It's just lame. Honestly, it's so lame. He always talks about your posture. You want to know what's lame, Deji? Being a famous YouTuber and still living in your parents' basement. That's what's fucking lame, buddy. I don't know why you still try to insert yourself into these situations. You already got your ass beat, and then you make up a million excuses as to why it happened. We both had the same opportunity. We both had the same amount of time to train, and you make all these fucking excuses, but at the end of the day, you got your ass fucking kicked. Oh, well, You're not in shape. Huh? I'm not ashamed, bro. I'm more conditioned than you. You got outworked by Deji. Round oh, yeah. Three, you lost your conditioning. Oh, out of breath. Big oh yeah. Big Bear ain't gonna save you. Have you ever fought? Big Bear ain't gonna save you. Have you ever fought three minute rounds? Yes, of course. No, you have. Have. Look, so I asked him if he's ever fought three minute rounds. So Gibbs never fought. Like, this is again, it goes back to my point about the people in the UK just lying. Have you ever fought three minute rounds? Yes. Uh, let's go back to your last fight. Wait, zoom in on this. Oh, those are two minute rounds? Oh, you're a liar? Oh, you're a bitch? Oh, your nose just got bigger? Oh, you're stupid as fuck? I don't know what it is, Bo, but you look at this kid in his Hawaiian flannel. Whoever dressed him is. Poof! Bro, Jake this kid. Does this. He always does these little lame ass tactics to try and get in your head. And it's so obvious what he's trying to do. It's just lame. <laughs> Honestly, it's so lame. You always Am I in your head, Gib? Look at, look at Gib's posture. I'm scared, I'm scared. Bro, sit up straight. This is the fucking professionals. This is the fucking big leagues. Welcome to it. You're 15 seconds of fame. You're seven and a half seconds in. Soak it the fuck up, buddy. In all the social media platforms, he's fallen. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. He took down my video for a specific reason because I hurt his feelings. Mm. The receiving hair like almost mm. obviously got to him. And there we go. My, my mom has more followers on Instagram than you. Did you know that? <laughs> then why are you falling? Why are there no Did you know that? My mom okay. has more followers on Instagram than you. Fine. How come you got no interactions? Hey, 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 boom! School one to big give. Hey, I like that. All right, so this is like their big thing. This is like their big like 
sticking point for the whole entire press conference for the whole entire like narrative of this whole entire fight is like Jake where you you got no fucking views I'm just confused because when I add up Deji's views for the last 30 days and then I add Gibbs views for the last 30 days to that you only get 20 million views Deji's uploaded eight times Fact check that. Gibbs uploaded like four times, and I'm sitting over here in the fucking mountains with my dick in my hand, not posting shit, okay? Fucking turning into a bear, bear crawling up mountains, punching bags, look at this. I'm not a YouTuber anymore, but you still look at my monthly views, uh, and I'm at 48 million, so they have 20 million combined, I have 48 million, and I haven't been posting, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, no, no. Jake, you're, Jake, you're an egotistical douchebag. No one likes you. You're, bro, where are your followers? You have no views. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out. Let me, let's call up the time out. Time out! Time out on the field! Who is the UK's, like, god, who, who do they worship? Like, who's their god? Who's, like, their king? Oh, his name, his name's KSI, that's right. Okay, let's, let's just time out, and let's just go look at, let's just go look at his views for the last 30 days. Let's just go, let's just go look at that. Oh, let me just, okay, let me just zoom in here. Let me just zoom in. Oh, for, oh 40, for, 48 million views for the past 40 days, past 30 days. Okay, okay, got that. Mark that down, you guys got that? So, KSI is their king of the UK. Just had one of the biggest events of the year, beat Logan Paul, and still only has 48 million views in a month. But Jake Paul is in Big Bear, filming shit YouTube videos in front of a camera with my dick in my hand. And, wait, hold on, let me see how many views Jake has again. 48 million in the past 30 days? Okay. Okay. So KSI and Jake are at the same... Okay. But, I, okay. But I don't, but my channel fell off. Let me do the math. I'm just figuring out the math. I'm just trying to see if it makes sense. Okay, no, yeah, I get, I get it. I get it. No, that makes sense. That makes sense, right? No. It doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> but let's just say they're right. Because maybe, maybe I'm the jackass. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe I don't understand the jokes that are being made. Okay? Let's just say I'm the idiot. Welcome to the fucking real world where... I, as a human being, want to leave a legacy that's greater than being a fucking YouTuber. That doesn't excite me. When I grow up, I want to be able to show my kids something tangible that their dad accomplished, okay? Getting fucking views and doing well on Social Blade doesn't fucking mean shit in the real world. And even though I have the same amount of views as KSI right now, and we've uploaded the same amount of times, to me it doesn't fucking mean anything. Like, like genuinely, like from the bottom of my heart, like, I've been there done that like done the views thing and guys like any youtuber up and coming watching this any like youtube fan like please don't get sucked into like that world of like you did that you have this many views do you know this many views like it is such an unhealthy place and especially if you're a youtuber to be like i'm getting views 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 it's like a dead end trust me it's a dead fucking end you have to be able to build your career outside of social media and be able to build businesses, huge generating revenue streams that you can live off of for the rest of your life, not fucking views, okay? Like, let, let's talk about, let's break it down. Views, okay, let's say you get two, three, four million views on a YouTube video. You make a couple fucking grand. At the start of your career as, as an influencer, yes, that's exciting, but like, when you start to make millions of dollars, do you, do you think I, do you think people who are making real money investors, smart people, CEOs, do you think they give a flying fuck about a couple grand from getting views on YouTube? Wow, oh, look at me, I'm putting up, like, you, you have no more views, like. It just, you just sound stupid, Gib and Deji. You guys sound stupid. Like, I'm trying to genuinely send you a message here to, like, wake up. Like, does, uh, for example, Floyd Mayweather, the biggest boxer, the richest athlete of all time. How many views does Floyd Mayweather get? Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't even have a YouTube channel? Okay, got it. So this is like, when you really start to think about this in, in, in real life and like as a smart business person, you guys sound stupid.
Welcome to the real world. I get, I'm here, Gabe, to tell you that your whole entire YouTube channel has a quarter billion of a views. 250 million. I have one video that has more views than your whole entire YouTube channel, and I'm telling you, bro, it doesn't mean anything. Build yourself in the real world. Build a brand for yourself that you can make money off of. Real money that you can sustain a family for for the rest of your life. And Gabe, if we're being honest, bro, if I were you, I'd be uploading as much as I possibly could right now because you're having so much traction, you're having so much, so many people who hate Jake Paul that go to your channel, the UK fans are riled up. Post, like suck the most out of it as you can, like Deji did before I beat his ass. Cause January 30th, when you lose, you're just gonna go back to being a kid that no one gives a fuck about. So suck the most out of it that you can. But with all that said, uh, you know, I'm a man of action. January 30th, live on the zone. You're gonna see me turn these words into action and back up every single fucking thing that I said in this video. Guys, be fucking there. I love you guys. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, peace. Everyone's gonna be watching worldwide. <laughs>